What up guys, welcome to another edition of Social Misconduct. I'm your host Marcus Drew Steele. So let's check out what's been floating around the World Wide Web this week, courtesy of users like you. Well, for starters, how about this one? It's a post about the Teardrop Memorial in New Jersey. It was apparently dedicated to the US back in 2006 from a Russian artist after the 9-11 terrorist attack. But why haven't we heard about it? And more importantly, is it even real? Well, the ruling is out and this one is actually true. The monument is real, but doing a casual search online for news coverage and there's not much to show. The teardrop was a gift from the Russian people and President Vladimir Putin and represents both the grief over lives lost, but also the hope for the future. Yeah, that clip pretty much sums it up. All right, moving on, how about this post dedicated to everyone's favorite person, Donald Trump, not. The post suggests that Donald Trump is responsible for losing more than $900 million in a single year. So what's the ruling on this one? Well, it's a little true and a little false. It's complicated, L let me explain. According to a Forbes article describing Trump's finances over the past year, he technically lost around $800 million, which is still an estimate at best. However, the false part of this answer is because when it comes to valuing Trump's finances, that's income versus revenue, the publication says his net worth is always fluctuating. That combined with a declining real estate and retail market makes it hard to get an exact number, plus the fact that he refuses to share any of his tax returns. I will release my tax returns against my lawyer's wishes when she releases her 33,000 emails that have been deleted. So if you just wanted to discredit Trump, then yeah, technically he did lose a shit ton of money. However, if we wanna be fair, then obviously we would need to do a little bit more research and kind of weigh the pros and cons of the economy and the retail market and the real estate market and blah, 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 blah. I'm boring myself now. And finally, we're looking up to the stars for this last post as it deals with your astrological signs and astronomy aka your horoscope. So check this one out. Instead of us and the sun and 12 zodiac signs dividing the calendar, it is us and the sun and 13 zodiac signs. And it also means that you are not the astrological sign that you thought you were. Now, there have been a few of these news posts being shared online and most of them are made up. But is this one any different? Well, the ruling is this is actually true. And we defer to the NASA Tumblr page that kind of explains it a little bit better than what we can. But basically, instead of me being a Sagittarius, I would be what's called an Ophiuchus or something like that now. All right, so there you have it. We are debunking and fact checking social media posts like it's nobody's business. As always, be curious, don't be afraid to ask questions, and stop sharing that isn't true. If you have a question about a post, definitely leave me a comment in the comment sections below. I'm Marcus Drew Steele, and of course, like always, you're watching Social Misconduct. Take it easy, guys.